Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we defeated the Magic Knight. And we need to rush back to Ymir, because Jaegers are coming there to kidnap Princess Alfin. Ain't got time for you. Piss off. I wonder which Jaeger Corps we're dealing with here. I really hope everyone's alright. It'll... Let's just hurry. Maybe Zephyr? I mean, that's the one Duke Cayenne hired to begin with. But no, those two goons and Zephyr said they're at the end of the game, last game, said that they're gonna leave things up to Sylphid now. It's what the boss would want. So I don't think Fee would attack Ymir or attempt to align themselves with the Noble Alliance. Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. She's a member of the Hexen Clan too. She's known as the Witch of the Abyss, and she vanished after breaking a taboo seven years ago. Think of her as like a sister to Emma. And that blue bird who's usually with her, Brianos, is a familiar like me. Well, I'm lost. Essentially, yes. Okay. We don't really have time for exposition. I think they could have given the exposition there as an active voice as you're running down to... I can hear more! Why does this have to be happening? They might just be warning shots. Try and stay calm. Are we going to make it in time? That's no more than just warning shots. That's an act of war. They're trying to raise the place to the ground. Oh, heavens. Your Highness, please hurry back inside the mansion. That sounds like music from Shadow of the Colossus. Whatever may come to pass, we won't allow them to touch you. But, but... There you are. That's an interesting weapon. We are the Northern Jaegers, and we've entered a contract with the Kreutzen province. By the order of its lord, Duke Alborea, we are here to take you into protective custody, your highness. No! Auntie Lucia? Out of the way, woman. Lucia. I ask you to leave this village at once. The Schwarzer family has historical connections with the Imperial family. So as long as I live, you will not lay a hand on Her Highness. Huh. You got guts, if nothing else. But I'm not going to repeat myself again. You would shoot an unarmed woman? I will kindly cleave your head from your shoulders. Our orders are that the lives of all other than Princess Alphen are of no consequence. Am I making myself clear? Good God! But please don't! Don't you dare lay a hand on them! Teo. Who are you? Uncle Teo! Darling. I am the Baron of Ymir, Teo Schwarzer. And I will serve as your opponent. Begin! Damn! Not all talk, I see. The art of swordsmanship has been passed down in the Schwarzer family for generations. 
I couldn't hope to compare to Master Kafai or Lord Osei, but I dedicate myself to honing my skills all the same. <laughs> Clearly you're not the type of noble who sits idly by and hires men to fight his battles for him. But I wonder how much use your sword will have if we try this. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Baron. You son of a bitch! You cowards! Have you no shame? All that matters to we Jaegers is fulfilling our contract by any means necessary. Fail to cooperate, and you know what happens next. Huh? Sounded like a machine gun. There's... there's fire everywhere! Damn it. Looks like we're up against some pretty high-ranking Jaegers here. Which means they're really yeah. high-end. <sighs> you... did not. They did. Now you've pissed him off. Green, no. yes. What the? How? He's a monster. Reed! Reed, don't! They don't deserve it. To anger. They deserve it. It lead to a repeat of what happened eight years ago. <sighs> He's still breathing. Your father's alive, Reen. Hang in there. I'll do first aid right away. Lady Schwarzer is just fine, too. She was knocked unconscious, but I don't see any injuries. She's okay. Oh, dear, she has stayed with us. You gotta get control of that, Reen. Are you are you back to normal? Reen, speak to me. Are you alright? I'm sorry, Lace. I must control myself again. It's all right. It's all right. You came back to me in the end. And that's all that matters. Please. I'm sorry. I really am. Auntie Lucia! Are you all right, Auntie Lucia? <sighs> Your Highness, you're unharmed. I can't say the same thing for the Jaegers. Yes, I'm fine. And it's all because of you and your family. I can't even begin to thank you enough. Your Highness, there's no need to cry. You have the face of an angel. Please, don't spoil it with tears. Well, I'm glad she's in no mortal danger. Tova, what about Father? I've given him some first aid, but he was injured pretty severely. We should get him to somewhere he can receive proper treatment as soon as possible. No. Dad. Honestly, some people have no patience. Vita, what now? Vita. What do you want with us this time? Concerns about how things were over here, so I decided to come and have a look. Duke Alborea's really gone and done it this time. It's obvious that he really wants to get ahead of Duke Cayenne, but this isn't the most prudent way to do it. You act like.
like he's not one of your allies. Now, now. There's no need to take your anger out on me. I can't undo what's already happened. But if it will help, I can at least clear up his mess for you. What? Magic! It's time to sleep, my children. Fall into a loving oblivion, cradled in your merciful mother's arms. Descend the mountain as you are, and you will report to Duke Alborea that you found nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, Mother. We will. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my! Unbelievable. So this is what you witches are capable of, is it? Can you got any healing magic? It's the least I could do after all the trouble you've been through. Duke Alborea is unlikely to doubt what they tell him. So this village shouldn't be targeted again for a while. Although, I'm guessing a gesture like this pales in comparison to what I would have to do to earn your forgiveness. Um... Misty, are you...? Don't be taken in by her sweet talk! She doesn't do things like this out of kindness! She doesn't? Target's in sight. That Orion girl. What? Ah! Elise, your highness. Shit, was she here the whole time? <laughs> or a Boros. Now that was silly of you, wasn't it? You should never take your eyes off the princess you're meant to be protecting. As far as knights go, I'm afraid you failed spectacularly in nearly every regard. That girl, I don't remember her name. She was in the intro. <gasps> Please, let me go. Targets apprehended successfully. Targets identified as objective one and objective two. Mission complete. It's like Eric Gatlum. Who are you? And what do you want? And why does that thing you're on look just like Eric Getlum? It really does. I take it you being with her means you're an enforcer or something? Uh, I don't comprehend your question. Hmm. She's not with Ouroboros, actually. She's one of the puppeteers. She's a behind-the-scenes helper of sorts who was donated to the Noble Alliance by an anonymous benefactor. Think of her as yet another ally of the Alliances, much like ourselves, Zephyr, and the Imperial Liberation Front. <sighs> Couldn't ask for a more terrifying lineup right there. If you like, you can think of me as the Wicked Witch. While she's the Black Rabbit guiding my steps with every adorable hope. The Silver Puppeteer and the Black Rabbit. Uh, stop messing around! Lady Clotilde. Please give the order to retreat. There is no need to remain here any longer. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Let's be going. Be many obstacles waiting for you, but struggle on and overcome them. And I'm sure that eventually you'll reach the stage where the Azure Chevalier awaits. Chevalier, Chevalier, I don't, I still don't know what that don't is. Let me down, Reen Schwarzer. I won't let it end this way. Hang in there, you two. I'm coming for you. I promise. Well, that all just happened. Cruzan Province airspace.
the Noble Alliance flagship, Pentagrul. Pentagrul? I don't know. Or is that... Yeah, that's Rufus. Has something wondrous caught your eye? Cayenne. And there's arm rust. Well, if it isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Okay, seriously, it's gonna bother me. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it means rider. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it, all but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. You don't seem the stuffy noble type. You seem like you're a spy planted. I don't get the you. The war is indeed raging on, just as you say. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had the I angle this like is giving me, I think, hard to go. would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. It's like a slightly crooked. I'm, I'm getting vertigo looking at this thing. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will. As Am I the only one seeing the image just slightly askew? Maybe it's the path of flight, or maybe I'm getting vertigo. I don't know. <laughs> Please, I am Supreme Commander, yes, but I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position of Chief of Staff. Rest assured, you have earned my favor. We are both That's better. That's better. Burdened guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control. But on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the East and West. <laughs> Excellent. Our Alliance forces have you as well as the Panzer Soldats. Oh, oh, fun fact about a Panzer Soldat. That is a real thing in our own history. Kinda. During World War II, Adolf Hitler wanted to create a super soldier. That was one of the Nazi experiments. And one of his ideas was a mechanicalized soldier known as the Panzer Soldat. It failed miserably. So he gave all his unit troops meth instead so they wouldn't have to sleep. And part of the defeat of Germany came from the United States and the other Allied forces bombing the shit out of their supply lines so they wound up suffering withdrawal symptoms and was only growing progressively weaker as the war went on. We have general. Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, two of the finest soldiers the provincial armies have ever seen. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? What happens if you win? Will the four great houses go to war with each other? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Yeah, anyway, like I'm saying, uh, his arm, bray, arm sash there looks kind of like a German cross. Ordine isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. 
Crossbell has a divine knight. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. And this here is our capricious young friend, Crow. Gilead Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. And this great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Oh my god, you are a prick! Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form, a land ruled by nobles. What makes you noble? What makes a name more valuable than another? This is why I detest monarchies. What makes one man's name more valuable than another's? As you wish. <sighs> Where did the mon idea of monarchy even came from? came from. Come from. Wrong past tense. Ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Rain some thought, won't you? Understood. You don't think it'll be quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? Seriously, what, what, how do, where do the monarchies even come from? What makes a man a king? I, I, there's no, there, I've not found anything on where the idea of monarchy began. It just sort of did. I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. Whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... The Jaegers... Unforeseen circumstances are exactly the reason Leblanc. we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? Zephyr. The Imperial Liberation Front, Blue Blonde, and I don't recognize the other two. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. We won't be working together forever. I well said, armored girl. I like I said. Even if the noble alliance wins, the noble faction wins the, the civil war. What's to stop the four great houses from turning on each other? <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Insert Aerosmith quote here. No, seriously, I'm looking at that guy and I can only think of the Aerosmith song, Dude Looks Like a Lady. That, 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 that's what's coming to mind with this guy. He has my interest on how he fights. Point taken. He looks the most... He's the one that stands out the most, is what I'm trying to I say. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> that's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Ironbloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. 
Okay, I know who the Iron Bloods are. Purple Lightning, Icy Maiden, Severing Chains, the Silver Puppeteer, Scarecrow. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle. He's there's that man, lady guy. He's clearly a mercenary of some kind. I don't know who he is. But I will enjoy fighting him when the time comes. I can only hope we don't need to see this more than once. Don't even know why they're giving me the intro again. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I... Fuck, I don't even know where we're going to go from this. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.